Hey folks, and welcome back to the mountain. As you can see, winter showed up. Old man winter has indeed shown up here on the mountain. Winter's here. We got some snow. Now, today, as you can see by my hat, we're gonna be in front of the sawmill. As you can see, I gotta clean some snow off it. I got a pile of logs over there I'd like to get milled up this week. I don't know if I'm gonna get them done or not, but I'm gonna start on them today. I felled a few pines before the snows hit and I kind of want to get them cut up before the logs freeze. I don't want to be cutting frozen logs. So first thing we got to do, clean the snow off the sawmill, get her fired up and warmed up. Let's do that. There she goes. All right. Next, of course, we got to pull a log on here. Once again, folks, this is a first for me. I've never sawed a log in the winter. Oh yeah, I think being full of snow and ice is helping. Right, folks what I got now is a 12 by 12 can it's got some knots in it it's not too bad I'm gonna make some 2 by 4s out of this normally I wouldn't bother with 2 by 4s but man the price of them is unreal so I'm gonna cut this into 2 by 4s
Normally my slabs here, I'd cut into boards, but today my stickers are all buried in snow. So these slabs are gonna be stickers. Let's cut them up. Alright, so what happened there is when I pulled it back, the blade caught on the wood and it popped off the wheels. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put the blade back on. I'll show you how we do that. Undo the tension, which is already undone. There we go. Now we just pop our blade back on the wheels. We'll be pulling this blade off when we go in anyway. There we go, she's back on. Tension it back up, close your doors. We're gonna fire it up real quick, spin the blade, and then check it again. Just make sure she's still lined up on the wheels where she's supposed to be. It is, it's sticking out just a little bit there. And just a little bit on this one. So that is what happens when you're not really paying attention. So what happened was when I pushed, when I pulled it back, the blade caught on the top. Actually, you can see it right there. It caught on that one. That one had popped up and it caught on it. When I pulled it, it popped the blade off. So we're gonna go ahead and finish cutting up these three and uh, we'll get the rest of our uh, stickers out of them. There we go, folks. Now we'll sticker and stack these and we'll be done with that log. I don't know how much more we're gonna do today. Maybe none, who knows? So that's where we're going to stack everything, is right there on that pallet. Well, folks, I think we're going to call it for this video. We got some two by fours done, some two by threes. Once again, normally I don't cut a lot of two by fours, but with the price of lumber these days, this is crazy. So we went ahead and did it. Uh, we got some, we got some more logs to do. We're going to get them later this week, hopefully. And we got some updates on the bunnies that y'all be real interested in. They're getting big. So 
we just wanted to get you out another video. I realize it's been a while and we're gonna hopefully get back on track here and do some more videos. So if you like our channel, please subscribe to it, hit the notification bell, give us a thumbs up, tell your friends and your neighbors. And as always folks, God bless.